Parents, what is up? What's up? How's everybody doing? Thank you for joining me. I have another question for you guys, and I need a little help. <clears throat> the other time I did a video on the teething thing, and I got a ton of responses, and thank you everybody that took the time to comment and give me all the different kind of feedback, and uh, I heard a couple different things I never heard of before, and I thought that was really cool. This video, all right, so I need a mattress for the crib, okay, and... I thought this was gonna be simple. I thought like this is a, okay, I need a mattress. I go online, go on Amazon, baby uh, crib mattress, and that's it, that's simple. Boom, boom, right? Why would that be complicated? Why would that be something so hard to find, right? <sighs> I go to Amazon and, you know, I'm looking at the stuff, I'm looking at the mattresses. And I always, when I'm looking at reviews, I look at the bad reviews too, because sometimes you gotta check out the bad reviews to see what people are saying. And on one of the top mattresses, there's people complaining. Like all the recent reviews, they're all bad. They're one star and they're like, don't do this, danger, warning, don't get it. One person posted, okay, they said that the mattress, it's called First Safety, a company First Safety. I don't even know. I don't even know where that's from or whatever. And I'm, I'm a little like, but it's called First Safety, right? In the mattress, the guy takes a picture and he's like, the mattress doesn't fit in the crib. Even though it claims that it's supposed to fit, it doesn't fit. And he took a picture where you can clearly see that there's a big gap between the mattress and the crib. And a baby could fall in between that. And it's dangerous and it's hazardous. Okay. And then I saw another picture that scared the lights out of me, the daylights out of me, the daylights. Doesn't even make any sense. Daylights out of me. The bejesus out of me. How about that? How about that? Um, so the next picture was this parent, and she was saying that her daughter got respiratory infections constantly, and she had all those respiratory problems. And it took her a couple months to find out that it was the mattress. Like, there's a picture of the mattress. She opened up the mattress. It was inside, because these mattresses, they're usually, like, covered, and then the thing is inside. So she opens up, and hopefully I'll be able to put the pictures for you guys in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. She opened up this thing and there's black spots of mold all over this mattress. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, what is this? What is this? And there's just like a ton of views of this stuff. So they have a lot of good reviews and they had a lot of bad reviews. And I'm just like, I had no idea buying a mattress for a crib for a baby was going to be something that's complicated. And, <clears throat> you know, I just especially for the baby for my daughter i just want to make sure whatever i get is safe so i started looking at some of the i was talking to daddy maddie last night about it and you know i was talking to my girlfriend about it and <clears throat> he was just telling me he gets the sealy mattresses that's what he got for his daughter by sealy i'm thinking i'm gonna lean towards the sealy thing but then the thing is ordering online you don't know what you get until you get it and uh, I mean, Amazon has a really good policy of returning it, but I was talking with my girlfriend, we were thinking maybe we should just go to the store, go to Baby's R's, Bye Bye Baby. I think maybe this might be one of those purchases that you need to go into the store to see and feel the product and touch it. I don't know. So what I'm asking you guys is, when you got a baby mattress, did you go through all this hassle? Like, you know, what brand do you use? Is there a certain brand that you use? How much did you pay? Because I'm looking at mattresses that are like $60 and $80. And I'm like, okay, that's the price that I was thinking. But then there's other mattresses that are like $100, $120, $200, $300, $400. And I'm like, I think $400 is too much, $200 is too much. I'm looking to spend around $60 to $100. You know, something that's good quality. You know, I want to hear feedback from you guys. Let me know. Is there a certain brand? Sealy is a pretty no well-known brand. Also, um, the brand and like the price and did you go in store? Did you order online? And did you have any bad experiences with this? Cause I'm seeing and hearing some horror stories and I'm just like, <laughs> all right, so take care everybody. Have a great day. I have a ton of videos coming up. I have a bunch of products coming in. I have baby products and regular products coming in. Stay tuned. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day.